Hi, Brian Tara here again, and I'm going to tell you about some of the databases you can use for your research projects in your computer sciences classes. So, um, this is again our technology subject guide, and I wanted to show you this uh, tech references tab we have here, and I'm down in the books and articles sub tab here, and We've got on the middle section here, technology and educational technology articles. So this is a list of some of our databases here, uh, available from the library. And the uh, first one you probably heard about already, Academic Search Complete. This is from a company called EBSCO. EBSCO is a company that um, peddles uh, article databases, and we buy about 40 or 50 of them from EBSCO. We give a big wad of money to EBSCO every year and they give us access to all of these databases. They give us, they give you access to all of these databases. Um, so Academic Search Complete is their big flagship database. So it's, it's like the big department store of databases. They've got everything in there, well, all sorts of topics. And um, it's actually a pretty good database for just about any topic you're going to think about. Now, there's a lot of specialized databases as well that may be appropriate for um, uh, your topics, depending on what your topic is. So, for example, if you have a topic related to educational technology, you might want to look at the Chronicle of Higher Education. You might want to look at ERIC. ERIC is like the educational database. So um, you definitely want to look at ERIC if you're into educational technology. Um, if you're interested in um, uh, business technology, you may uh, find that the computer source is, um, is worth looking at as well, or even technology in general. It's going to be more about the tech industry, though, um, and less about, I think, the application of technology. So, um, and then there's uh, SciTech Connect. Now, this is actually a, a database that's, uh, it's information from the U.S. government. Uh, it's the Department of Energy. And uh, they provide a lot of information related to um, to technology. So you know, it, and of course, they're going to have a particular um, you know set of interests related to what that department does. So um, you know, but they're Department of Energy. They're also interested in things like security and and whatnot. So um, it might be worth looking at their database as well depending on your topic. Um, so I'm going to take a look at Academic Search Complete. You may well have seen this before. Uh, I just want to reiterate that um, you're going to use those words that you found in your preliminary research, your background research, to try to find the articles that you need. I do want to point out a new service that we have that you may not be aware of. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try a search here. So I'm going to try, um, so I'm going to try, um, let's see, um, fishing and, I'm going to do a search. I'm also going to um, limit my search to more recent articles. I'm going to just limit it to the last two years. And um, I want to show you that on the second article, I'm mitigating spear, spear fishing, which is a particular kind of uh, fishing. I don't quite know exactly what the definition is there. 
But I wanted to show you this. It says check in other WCC databases. What that tells me is that it is not available in the EBSCO database, in the Academic Search Premier database, or I'm sorry, Academic Search Complete database. So when I click on check in other WCC databases, what it's going to do is it is going it uses another tool that we have to look in some of our other databases that are not from the EBSCO company and and it did not find that item full text meaning it did not find the whole article so there's no full text item available now I'm going to scroll down Still working on it. I'm going to click on this. Do you see where it says ILL? That stands for Interlibrary Loan. That means borrow this from another library. So that, um, I'm going to click on this request document via local document delivery system. That's all library jargon for interlibrary loan click on go what it does is it fills in this form right here it's already filled in except all it doesn't all it has uh, for you to do is to type in your name and your email address so you do that, you click on the send request button and it sends it to um, one of our library staff, Jill, and uh, she gets this request. And what she will do is she will contact um, a system of partner libraries. I think there's about 500 partner libraries in our, uh, in our library loan system. And we'll see if one of them will loan us a copy of that article. And then she will uh, she'll let you know. She'll email you the article if she can get it. Um, so it usually takes only a few days for her to know, one, if she can get it, and two, get it to you. So it's a free service, and it's brand new, and we're really excited about it. So there you go. Okay, so I'm going to go back to our uh, list here. Um, and let's see what else did I want to show you here I think that's about it um, if you have any questions or problems using uh, our databases or if you're just having trouble finding anything or you find too much or you're not finding anything at all the librarians are here to help you find stuff so um, please get in touch with us if you're having any trouble at all so think of us like a, um, a cons somebody to consult or an expert to consult kind of like you know if you're having trouble with your taxes you go to a tax consultant right or if you're having trouble with your plumbing you call a plumber it's no different than that right so um, we have experience and training and doing research so um, no shame and contacting us and saying hey can you help me out do you have any ideas and we'll say yes we have some ideas and we'll help you out um, and very often I'll say I have absolutely no idea but I'll try to figure something out for you because uh, I love to help so uh, just like that